Portugal clock in for their very first appearance at these championships. A special anniversary edition, in fact, games held across multiple nations, a true pan-European tournament that is a reflection of the pan-European nature of the game. And this is where it all starts for them. 11 players, many of them friends, some foes during the league season, now united for a single cause as they carry the hopes and expectations of a nation in this grand quadrennial event. Ahead of us, a month of non-stop adrenaline rush. I trust you are strapped in comfortably for what will be, at least for partisan parties, the most unbearable, thrilling of emotional roller coasters. This, of course, one of the most recognisable venues in the Netherlands, perhaps the whole of the continent. It is the Johan Cruyff Arena. Quite some performance. And Here it is then, the first page of the first chapter of this special tournament. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has a monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. Well, we're on the way. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. <laughs> Tries to get it forward quickly. He's in! He's had a shot! Speed of thought, efficiency of movement, and certainty of outcome. And that's what the game is all about. Find space and finish, but we have to credit the pastor to pick him out. Jean Moutinho. Dashing forward at pace. There's a long ball. He's got options out wide. Cross deflected behind for a corner. Well, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Ruben Diaz. Chance! It's in! Now listen, the writing was on the wall. It looked like this was going to happen, and it has. How's that for a class finish? Bruno Fernandes drives it forward. And it's Xiao Moutinho. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Bernardo Silva, plenty waiting in the middle, knocks it away, Jean Moutinho, Bruno Fernandes, cleared without complication. Bernardo Silva, Oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick. Well and truly turned on its head. Oh, 
That is a bit special. Tried to play it through. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. There could be trouble here. Cristiano Ronaldo. Bernardo Silva. Gets away from his opponents. And that's out of reach. Hit long and direct. Has a goal! In for the forward! He has done it! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! That's no fluke, it's what he was there for. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Xiao Moutinho. And has it out wide now. Xiao Cancelo. Has a hit! Xiao Moutinho. And it's the whistle for half-time. Portugal are two up, and on the balance of things, I would say, deservedly so. They had a very coherent game plan, and if they are allowed to continue in the same vein, I can only see the margin getting bigger. Portugal are broadly in charge, but the contest is still alive at three goals to one. And we're underway again. João Cancelo. And here's the chance to counter. And it's got through. Receives it from behind. Gets it back. He's gone for it! Big relief. It just needed better contact. Yeah, maybe the circumstances are beginning to heap on the pressure because they're trying to force it. And it's Bernardo Silva. João Cancelo. Beautifully done. Chance to cross. Cristiano Ronaldo! He's not well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Hungary can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Back into the middle. Bernardo Silva. Ben and Bernardo Silva! Oh, that's a fine save! Bernardo Silva simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. An adventurous run. He's gone for it! And that has been clubbed away. <laughs> Hungary can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Danilo Pereira. Bruno Fernandes. A chop! Bruno Fernandes! Oh, and things were shaping up very nicely there after the little drop of the shoulder. Fernandez. And it's Guerrero. He's got away. Get great leap! No, oh, he's got that completely wrong. Pepe drives it forward. Bernardo Silva plays it long. Timely intervention. And the 
shot! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. And it's Bernardo Silva. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Jean Moutinho. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. That was venomous. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo has got himself a free kick. Goal at his mercy, and somehow he's missed it. And he could have eased the pressure on his team by taking them within one of an equaliser. Very well to intervene. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Now surely! Bernardo Silva. And Bernardo Silva! Surely done! Portugal are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. And that is it, the referee has seen enough. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day, and a platform on which to build. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Listen, ideally, any new campaign needs a start that puts three points on the board, and it's mission accomplished. Nothing too fancy was required, just a, a good solid team display for me.